I think tonight I'm going to go over there, I'm going to locate that chainsaw, and I'm going to pull the spark plug out of it. That'll learn ya. Hey, welcome to Smoky Goodness. First day of autumn. It's cool out here. I think it's... Can you hear that? The, uh, the acorns are starting to fall out of the trees here. It's a crisp, clear, perfect morning. I think it's 39 degrees right now. Perfect for barbecuing early in the morning. What are we doing this morning? Well, first off, I have to tell you that I'm entering another contest with this video. This is uh, a plank grilling contest put on by our good friends over at Barbecue for Smoke. Uh, Alan is having this contest. He actually he goes by uh, Barbecue Smoker. And uh, his channel is Barbecue for Smoke. Go check it out. Anyway, he's got a, a, a really good contest going on. Like I said, it's a grilling, a plank grilling contest. And this is my entry. I'm not going to win, of course, <laughs> because there are a lot of great videos. I think there's three videos up there, but they're all they're all winners to me. This one won't compete, especially with Twinkie the Kid. <laughs> you got to go check it out. Anyway, today for the contest, we're going to be doing plank grilled, I'm going to call these shelled fire omelets. Fire omelets in their own shell. What are you talking about, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy? Stay tuned and you'll find out. Let's take the tour. Stick around. All right, here we go. The shell, the fire omelets. Starting off, you need six eggs. Wouldn't really be an omelet without eggs, would it? Don't worry about things being out here in the ambient temperature. I know I've got a lot of perishables out, out here, but like I said, it's about 39 degrees. And if you hear train horns, this early in the morning, BNSF is out uh, switching a little bit west of here. Actually, quite a bit west of here. Those train horns carry, man. Here are the shells. We've got three large bell peppers. At least one of them is large. The green one's large. The other two, uh, they're for color. I should make it work, though. I should be able to make it work. Hey, we've got some cheese back there. Gotta have cheese. Also not out here right now because I forgot to bring it out here. Another essential is bacon. That'll be out here in a minute. Guarantee that. Let's see, we've got some gourmet sea salt there. Got some fresh cracked black. Frank's red hot sauce, oh yeah. A little bit of milk. The planks are in water. They've been soaking overnight. Gonna have them out here as soon as the coals get ready. Yeah, let's get started. Not really too concerned here with uh, going indirect or direct. It's kind of a combination of both. Always shake your chimney too. Make sure you got all the embers out of there. Okay. And of course, we'll start these planks smooth side down. As so many others have said, to kill some of the bacteria, get them heated up, and ready to go. And then while those are warming up, as I've said so many times, I'm not getting any style points out here. And great, a fire truck. Garbage truck is coming. Black pepper, gotta have it. I like to put milk in the eggs. I don't really know why. I've been doing it for years. Ah, helps you pour everything. You don't spill it all over your cutting board. It's been about 10 minutes or so. 
these back over onto their rough side. There you go. Look at that. All right. Smelling good already. Tick. You want to very carefully pour your egg mixture right into it. Would everybody in the neighborhood please make as much noise as humanly and mechanically possible, please? <laughs> really a sad thing, you know? A bit more pepper. Bring a squirt ball out of here now. Oh well. Not a problem. Lay these right in here. Whoops. Well. Bacon there. Bacon over here. Bacon around here. All right. All right. Something I forgot. Just a little bit here. Just a smidge. Gourmet sea salt. Go. Okay, ten minutes has passed. Check on these real quick. See how they're doing. The egg is starting to cook. Yes, it is. Move this one off a little bit. It's cooking really well. So get we back. Thanks for coming along. Please, please, more noise. More. Come on, crank it up. Noisy, noise, 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 noise. Of course, if you put your bacon on a little bit too soon and it happens to get done before your omelets do, it's a great little snack while you're waiting. Mmm. Pepper bacon, thick sliced. Ease the pain from all this noise, you know. Okay, about half an hour has gone by, and I'm sure that about three or four trees have also gone by. At least met their match. Got a toothpick here. I like to check the omelets uh, to see if they're done, much the same way you would check a cake to see if it is done. That one is done. Done. This one's got a little bit more to go. Done. 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 Let this one go for maybe another two or three minutes. I'm gonna be eating. Ooh. Can't forget this. Oh yeah. Time to have cheese. Be a smoky goodness style omelet without it. Mm -hmm. Let that melt. Oh, yeah. That. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now let's plate these guys up. See what we got.
bit of Frank's Red Hot on mine. Oh yeah. And of course. Cedar, you can really taste it in here. This is completely different, unique. Not like anything I've ever had before. Mmm. Mmm. Anyway, that does it for uh, smoky goodness for this time. Like I said, I know I'm not going to win the contest, but this was a blast, except for all this noise over here. I swear, I, I fire up the grill. Man, I don't know what it is. Everybody grabs their noisiest implements. Whether it be a chainsaw, a truck, a garbage truck, or whatever, this is good. This is really good. Stick around, Herb. <laughs>